Hi, my name is Tegan. I'm the local jewelry making expert here at Jacobs Trading. If you haven't heard of us before, make sure you check out the description below for information that will lead you to our website or to our online store. Today we're going to be talking about head pins or eye pins and all the fun things you can do with them. So as you can see, we have set up here an example of all the different things that you can do with a head pin or an eye pin. Um, I'm going to start by showing you kind of what they look like and then we'll get into talking about what the differences are. So this side, this is a head pin and this one is an eye pin. Head pins can be used for things that dangle or such as pendants, whereas eye pins can be used as like a carrier in the middle between things like a link or in a full bracelet. So that's kind of the general difference between the two. I'll show you some physical examples here. So as I was mentioning about being a carrier in the middle, these are eye pins. So they're double ended. So they have two circles, one on each side. Whereas head pins can be used just to hang. So this, this one is an, a head pin because it's got a little flat side on one end and then we make a circle on the other. So there are two different ways that we can use these head pins and eye pins. Um, one is to make a loop that kind of looks like the, already the other end of the eye pin. Or we can do like what I've done in this bracelet, which is to actually finish it by twirling it around. One way is more secure than the other. Um, so when you're doing something like a bracelet, having it more wrapped around will make it so that it can't pull apart. Whereas the simple hook style is better for th something, say like an earring, where it doesn't matter. It's not necessarily going to get pulled on quite as hard. So I'm going to start by showing you how to do that one. So the first one I'm going to show you here is with an eye pin, as I was saying in that earring style where it's the simple, just a hook style. Afterwards I'll show you the more complicated one in the head, as the head pin, but you can do either style interchangeably, it doesn't have to be on one or the other. So you're going to grab your head pin and you're going to start by putting your beads on there. You can do this for as many or as little beads as you want. The only thing to keep in mind is how much of a tail you leave. So if you're doing the style like we are going to, where it's the simple hook, you don't need quite as much of an end because you only need enough to hook it around into that loop. If you leave yourself too little, you can't achieve this. So you wouldn't want to put so many beads on there that you only have a little stub. In this case, I'm only using three beads, but I can cut off the excess. We're going to begin by grabbing our flat nose pliers. The first step we're going to do is actually kind of just bend this away. So we're going to start by making it that angle that goes out sideways. So just that little bend in it. Next we're going to grab our round nose and we're going to put those right at the top here. So just pinching it right at that bend and you're going to take that extra loop and simply bend it around the round part of those round nose pliers. So I'm going to turn it up sideways and hopefully you can see I have it kind of on an angle. So the wire is kind of coming down to one side as opposed to straight down the middle. I find this easier afterwards when I want to cut off my excess by having it kind of off-centered. So I'm going to wrap it around so it's on that angle coming around so you can see it's kind of still open. I'm going to get in there with my snips, cut that down, just put that garbage aside and you can see it's kind of open now. So now I'm going to get that back in there with my round nose and I can curl that in. So I'm going to grab it just by the tip here and kind of curl that part in just a little bit more. So I just kind of finished my circle, but there's still a gap where I can get my nail in there. So then I'm just going to use my flat nose now to flatten that in, finish that curve so that we have it. Now they have the loop on both sides. Now my loop kind of came out a little sideways. You can always go back in with those round nose pliers and finish off those loops to make them perfect if you want them to match. I'm going to show you this next technique with a head pin. As I said before, this can be done interchangeably, um, but I'm going to show you on a head pin so you get to see both styles. We're going to start by putting our beads on there. As I mentioned earlier, you want to be mindful of that space that you leave, particularly with this style because you do need more because we're going to be using that extra tail to actually wrap it around to secure it so it's stronger. So you can't leave less so that you only have enough for that little loop. We're actually going to need more in this case. So we are going to start in the same way by bending over that little piece, except we actually want to start a little bit higher. So I'll actually use the width of my flat nose pliers and I'm going to grab on just a bit right kind of snug to the bead, but now I'm going to use the width of my tool here and I'm just going to bend that still like we did before. Except instead of having that little bend right flush to the bead, it's now up a little bit. We're going to switch to those round nose pliers, do the same thing, except this time we're going to go straight dead center over. We're not going to go off to the side. So we're going to go over top, just 
just straight down the middle, except we're going to carry on underneath. So now we've done one full loop, except our circle is now actually tight this time. And now how we're going to finish it is we're going to create essentially like a spring around the wire in the gap that we left. So I like to get in there with my thumb and my index finger and really pinch it. So I'm going to get in there and I'm really squeezing tight on those pliers. Get in here and just begin to let that wire rotate around. You always want to maintain this little extra wire to be perpendicular to your other wire. So nice right angle right here. This will maintain that you can get that nice tight spring that these wires will carry on right side by side. So we're going to carry on around. And you want to go around at least twice. If you want to use up the wire or fill up to the gap, whatever works for you, you can always cut it off. Uh, I have now just this little gap. It's going to get too hard. I might puncture my finger if I keep pushing too hard. So I'm going to stop there with my fingers. I can either get in there with my snips and simply just cut off that tail. Um, I'm going to leave it for a second. I'm going to show you one more way that you can do it. You can actually use your flat nose. So I'm actually going to use my round nose to hold on to that round circle. And I'm going to use my round nose pliers to get in here and simply push it around. So I'm not trying to stamp it down. I'm actually pushing and rolling at the same time in order to get that little piece to go flat. So little bit by little bit, I'm just pinching and rolling it. I probably could have clipped this down and it would have been a lot shorter to do, but I wanted to give you guys a good example of what I'm doing here. So in the future, if you're doing it, clip it down a little bit and then you can do this technique where you just kind of pinch and roll. So I'll do it sideways here so you can kind of see I'm just lightly pinching and rolling like this to get rid of that little edge. So then we got that all tucked in there. And now you can always, same thing I showed you with the other one, flatten that out. You can round out your circle if you need and you wind up with a nice little loop. So that's how we put together our head pins and our eye pins. You can put this into a lot of different pieces of jewelry or even accessories. So this one was made into a keychain simply by just hanging it straight onto that keychain. This one is an earring, so we just hooked it on. You can also use jump rings and make them into a bracelet. So this one has those double-ended eye pins where you can add jump rings in between and make a full bracelet. You can put them on necklaces, tons of different things. Be sure to let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about what we covered today or if you wanted to give some creative inspiration for myself or for others, feel free to show your examples of what you've done with head pins or eye pins. That's all we have for you today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe. We have new videos coming out every single week and you can keep up with all the fun things we're doing here. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Cheers.